that's a really good question. I'm thinking about it, I'm going to take and draw from my own experience. When I first started my internet-based business for dragon biting, which is this very, very niche type of market, I, I didn't really have any advice from anyone. So when I first started, I wish I did have someone give me this kind of advice. So the unconventional advice that I'd give you is firstly, make sure that you do have the system and an e-commerce site set up correctly. Making sure that you have someone who's spent the time putting it all together for you. Don't do it yourself because my biggest mistake was that I spent at least two or three weeks tweaking, getting it all fixed up and, and just getting it to look the way I wanted to look. But still then, I, I still need to upgrade it and maintain it over the course of the time that I ran the business. So I would highly, highly recommend you just outsource and get someone to be able to create the e-commerce store for you. And once that's created, then you've got something that you can be proud of and start making sales. Now, instead of me spending those two weeks or three weeks that I spent on developing the website, I could have spent that time looking for more sales and more traffic to drive to my website. So I think the most important thing that I highly recommend you do is to get traffic as soon as you can, get visitors and try to build up that database first. Even if you don't even have a website set up, an e-commerce website store, have a landing page there and put that landing page there and drive people to that website and say, it, you know, you can download this free little coupon or you can download and check out my product range categories or a catalog that you can sign up to. Just get them onto a database first before you even have a website and it's sort of what we call a pre-launch and that pre-launch is just to really get people excited about your e-commerce store and to launch it out there. So I think that's something that's just really important is that you focus on just having a web domain and just driving people through to that web domain first and even if you don't have a store set up, just put them onto a list first or database and then in those two or three weeks that you get someone to develop your e-commerce website, then basically open up the doors and tell them to come back and check it out. So I think that's what I really highly recommend when you're first starting out is just to bring as much traffic so that you can get people onto your store and that way they can have a look and also potentially convert over to sales. Now once you've got them over to your store and having a look at it and uh, you got the traffic then you got to make sure that you have a good site, a good site that really is easy to use, user friendly and very very clean for the eye so that it's attractive and people will just want to click and buy straight away. And the thing I learned about running my own e-commerce business is I wanted to make a three step process. They view the product, click on buy and then pay with a credit card and they're done. And that, that, that's as simple as it's supposed to be. You don't want to get them through clicking here, clicking there and just getting distracted because they'll never buy. So you really need to just look at that and make sure that you implement something like that with your e-commerce site that you are planning to start. And that's the best advice I can give you just from my personal experience when I ran my e-commerce website for the Dragon Boating niche. I hope that's good advice for you and um, yeah, thanks very much for asking me this question.